Okay, so if you bring this object in here, linked from another file, you will notice that both the object itself and its data, which in this case is a mesh, are linked. And because the object is linked, we can't move this. We can't scale it and we can't rotate it. It just exists in our file exactly like it exists in the file we brought it in from. But from the modes pi, you can call the make local tool, which on its first run will make the object local, but not its mesh. And so now we can move and manipulate the object itself, but we still can't edit the mesh because that is still linked. The mesh does not actually exist in our current file. The object exists, but not the mesh. Now if I open the blend file that is defining this object in mesh and edit it here and save it and now come back to our current file and reload the libraries, then just like magic, the mesh will be updated here too now. But if you wanted to edit the mesh in this current file, then you have to make the mesh local too. And you can do this by running the tool a second time. Or I could have done it right away by holding the shift key when I ran it the first time. And it works exactly the same for other types of linked objects, including linked instance collections, or assembly assets, as I like to call them. Instance collections are empties and don't have mesh data or any other type of object data, but instead they reference a collection, hence the name. As before, you can't transform this, because the object itself is still linked, and so I make it local again, and again without holding the shift key, as I want to keep the collection and its objects linked. And by the way, if all you want is disassemble the asset, know that it will deal with linked data on its own. The dedicated make local tool just offers you more fine-grained control, especially if you want to be very selective about what you want to make local and what should stay linked. And as you can see here, the empty itself is local now, but the referenced collection and its contained objects are not. None of these objects actually exist in the current file. It's still only the cube and plane that we have here locally. The rest of the hundreds of objects making up this asset only exist in this assembly blend file. I could make this collection local now, if I wanted to. Or I could disassemble right away if I actually want access to the assembly objects. This is a recursive assembly asset, where the objects on the first level are again also assembly assets or instance collections themselves. And as you can see, the empty object itself has been made local now, and so can be transformed, but the referenced collection and its objects are still linked and not actually part of the current file. Same here, the box empty is local, but the collection and its objects are not yet. But if I disassemble, I get access to them.